Tumors are caused by mutations which are alterations in the DNA sequence of a cell. These modifications alter normal cellular programs. How do mutations occur? Our DNA is continuously damaged by chemical agents such as smoke, or by physical agents such as UV rays and X-rays, or by biological agents like viruses. Our DNA can also be damaged by molecules generated by cell metabolism, such as reactive oxygen species, or during DNA replication. In the first case we talk about exogenous mutations, since they are caused by external agents. In the second one we talk about endogenous mutations, since internal agents cause them. There is also another possibility. Mutations can be inherited from our parents, if they were present in their germline cells, the oocyte and the sperm. In the first case we talk about acquired or somatic mutations, in the second we talk about inherited mutations. What can we expect in the case of inherited mutations? Everyone has two copies of the same gene. One has been inherited from the mother and the other from the father. If one of the parents carries a mutation in a gene X, then all of the cells will have that mutation. The other copy of the gene is normal, therefore cells are viable and function normally. If by chance in one cell an event produces a mutation in the second copy of that gene, and if that particular gene is involved in crucial processes such as DNA repair, then DNA repair mechanisms will alter their function. The cell can initiate alternative programs that will cause it to become a cancer cell. Therefore, everybody that inherits this mutation will have an increased risk of developing cancer respect to the rest of the population, since he or she already has the first mutation. That's why we call this type of cancers hereditary tumors, unlike sporadic tumors that are triggered by accidental mutations during one lifetime. Hereditary tumors represent between 5 and 10% of all cancers diagnosed in the population. Some examples of hereditary tumors are the non-polyposis colon cancer or the familial adenomatous polyposis or the hereditary breast and ovarian syndrome. Tumors are caused by the accumulation of mutations in the DNA. Tumors can be sporadic when DNA mutations arise by chance, or they can be hereditary if the patient already carries a genetic predisposition.